<laughs> it's raining. We got thunderstorms possible five to seven inches of rain. We had a project to do outside today. I was going to show you some things, but I guess we're going to play in the garage today. <laughs> yeah. And I've got something from Beaver that is all about shelving and storage, and it's a really nice kit. In fact, we had the Harbor Freight kit in a while back, and it was it's not very good. This kit looks really good, so uh, yeah, let's get into it, yeah. Yeah, good old Beaver, and this is a storage bin type racking system, and we're gonna take a look at it. It's uh, another one of those things. Beaver has so many different products, and a lot of times uh, I get surprised, which was when I saw this was like, Oh yeah, that is really neat. Got to have it, you know. So they sent it over so we could, you know, take a look at it, you, me, today, and, and see another item that they have. We have showed their products for a couple of years now. Beaver has all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like the Harbor Freight Online, but uh, really it's a lot more than just that because there are so many areas of agriculture, restaurants, and you name it. Uh, they've got different tools and a lot of different things that just... Uh, you might find the oddest thing, if I get the box open, and this is going to be awesome, but this is going to hold <laughs> more stuff. Let me get the box up here, and you can just sort of get an eyeball on this. This is a storage tool rack that will hold just a lot of goodies. Look at, look at this. Look at the bins on top here. Yeah, all the different plastic bins. And I noticed the inner lock, but uh, this whole thing will go up on a wall. Yeah, with a special, like a, like a pegboard type system. And it will hold just tools and it'll hold goodies and parts. And that's one of the things I kind of need right now. Oh, look at that for screwdrivers and stuff. Oh man, this is just, this is going to be cool. And uh, I'll get all this out and I'll put it on the... Uh, workbench here so we can all have a look at what's in the box you know because there's a lot and instructions all right i kind of unloaded everything it's a plastic bin storage type system but it also includes uh some of these that i was unaware of for some reason but uh you've got all this tool uh, hanger type storage so if you're building like a workbench and you wanted a nice wall at the back of it that would hold a lot <laughs> of different things this would be right in that line. And it's all plastic, so it's not gonna rust, rot, or fall apart over years. It's, it's gonna last a long time. Also, there is a whole bunch of, I guess we'll call it different different hooks and things that can go in. There's also, there's a total, let's hold these panels up. There's six of these panels. It's kind of like a French cleat idea, I guess you could call that. And there's six of these in the kit and these, there is, I don't even know how many of these they give you, but uh, as you can see, there is a lot of storage bins, plus that, plus all the hooks and hangers. So you get a lot of stuff in here. All oh, there's even plugs for the wall, so you can, you know, nail it to the wall. I would nail this to some uh, plywood or something uh, reinforced with screws, so that way everything is hung really, really well. But uh, I'm going to see if I can find you a nice color picture of one of these set up, so you can really see what was in this box <laughs> so, yeah so there it is you know uh something that as goes on here is they do have little clips on this uh, one end yeah so they kind of interlock so when you put them together so you can put the whole thing up as a panel isn't that a cool picture I, when i saw that picture i was like whoa and i have uh 3d printers and unfortunately with 3d printers you get a lot of little parts a lot of knickknack stuff so you need all these crazy little bins, especially for like, in my case, I, I have products that we have to put out for certain clients and a lot of the products are small. So little bins like that, you can like stack them all up and hopefully keep everything, you know, in line and have a place for some tools because there's always tooling and repairs and things going on with 3D printers. Now, the next thing I want to do is try to give you the size of this thing. Oh, the price. I saw the retail price was somewhere around $52, I believe, from Vivor, and we will have a sale price with a link in the description below. I don't know what that price will be just yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> also, uh, begged for a coupon. That's just me to see if any viewers want a, a deal on something like this. They have these little tabs on the, uh, on the ends of them on one side here, so you can lock them together so what i'm going to try to do is get you a measurement because i think anybody in their right mind that's the one one of the things that they're going to ask and that's with six of these panels as you saw in the picture it's going to take quite a bit 
It's gonna take some space up. Let's see. Oh, that's upside down. Ah, uh, well, this isn't gonna work. Okay. Let's do something else. Yeah. Let's uh, let's measure a panel. Okay, this panel is about 22 and a half by looks like 15 and a, about 15 and a quarter, roughly for size. So I'm gonna lay three panels out interlock together and I'll give you the total length because that'll tell you how big we're talking this way right I mean physically talking US measurement in inches this way yeah as soon as I can find some floor space here yeah okay so you can make some notes uh, I just laid three panels across on the floor and it was 68 inches in length so that's 68 by and I've got two this way so if we do that we could uh, do two, 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 I guess up that way, maybe vertically if you needed, you know, more height or something and less width. Uh, and by about 30 and a half inches. So 68 this way and about 30 and a half that way. So yeah, there's quite a good layout of paneling going on there for these. Yeah. So you've got a lot of area and space to take up to put all your little knickknacks and stuff up there. Like I said, the big thing for me was having all this amount of storage bins and being able to store all the different little 3D printer parts and stuff. I thought for the clients that we ship out and everything, having all these bins, I love having lots of little bins like this for stuff for what we're making because we have all, we're just adding more and more all the time, and it seems like we're getting to the point where it's like you know what we we just you know we need more bins because we've got all these little things to keep track of and. As the bins get low, we got to put the job on the 3D printing machine and make more. Yeah, and what a fabulous, nice, nice looking stuff. I don't know what kind of plastic this is. I think it's, uh, yeah, if I took a shot at it, I might say ABS, but I don't think it is. I'm not real confident on that one. But let's get a, see if we can get a, oh man, see if we can get a huh, piece count on these uh, more bins. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to count the bins. Ah, uh -huh. so wow, that's a lot of bins. Uh -huh. If you're into that sort of thing with little parts and needing bins, I think this kit might just be perfect. And what, what at, a, at what price? I can't 3D print all this for for that price. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, let's see if we can't lay lay all this out and see how that works. I think we got an extra bin here. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. There are 30 bins. It was two stuck together. <laughs> and then we've got all this stuff. As you saw in the picture, all this goes together and makes a really nice system for tools with storage and bins and everything. I, I tell you, for the price even, it's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a cheap, easy way to go and it gives you all the flexibility of, uh, you know, look at this thing. This is really cool. It's like uh, drill bits or whatever right here even. <laughs> I don't own enough drill bits anymore, I don't think, to fill that up. I've broke so many lately. But yeah, yeah. And then they've got this one here, which is more of a screwdriver type rack or wrenches because you can put pliers and that sort of thing in these slots and things so wow fever this is another really cool product for a very low price like yeah you know can't beat it for scale and we'll try this one more time there you go there's the <laughs> that, that would be three panels and there's six to come with the kit so you just kind of get an idea how big the layout would be with all those uh Wow, with all that accessory stuff on there for you to put your tools and store your parts and things. What an awesome, awesome setup. Yeah, believe it. And an unbelievable price. Again, I have to thank Fever for sending this over to us because we love all this crazy stuff. Uh, there was one thing that we were supposed to do today. Well, it's scheduled. We will still get to it, but Fever sent me over a really nice piece of patio furniture to put together in front of you guys. And... I can't do it because the weather closes and right now it's a little bit calm but during filming today it's been thunderstorms lightning rain you name it out there so we've been unable to tape that show because I'm gonna be doing it outside it's gonna be a really interesting setting I think 
Also, uh, one other thing I guess I was going to mention. Uh, we will try to get back maybe next week with the uh, Fender Amp uh, restoration job that I did. It was under two feet of salt water and I electronically fixed it, but the uh, speaker was, uh, yeah, I couldn't, I could not fix the speaker <laughs> and I'm not sure what happened to it. I am still trying to figure that one out. It looks like somebody kicked it in with their foot, but the the front grill and everything on the uh, amplifier looked fine, so I'm not sure. I, I, it, the salt water, I guess, did it to the paper on the speaker. It just tore it up. It was in pieces, so it was like, ah, eh, we can't. I could try gluing it back together, but uh, nah, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. I'm out of here. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> <laughs>